on dramatic survival. I was supposed to do this in off the screen, but I forgot entirely to do it. But you won't know this, and I will mine away so fast you won't even see me doing it. Anyway, how long does mining take anyway? Approximately three hours. Damn. Technically, I am spending hours, but because I am friendly with a Talon, I don't suffer any penalties for mining in their territory. Apparently, I've also got a quest line to kill hunt predators, which will make me even more pre popular with a Talon. That's fine by me. And it's not really a priority mission, to be honest, we're only doing this so I can stock up on some iron, get ourselves prepped. Because this episode we shall be heading to a different planet. We are going off the rails, we're leaving this world. Technically I think the game developers need to change the mission string a little bit. Because you complete the first one, it says you need to sort out the radio station on this planet. Then you jump to going into space. On down the trail. But you see, the thing is, the next one, the first one on the Talon's mission string, deals with the tower, and it tells you that going into space would be a good way to find out about the tower. They tell you about the, um, uh, so essentially, once you finish the Robinson Crusoe bit, which is the first mission, before you do the human mission, first mission, you should really do the, um, Talos mission, Talon mission, which will then send you off to go after your spaceship parts, which appears in the second mission, first human mission, for the NSF, National Space Force. That's great, dude, you can fall down this pit, but it's not going to do a little bit diff good, because, you know, we are gathering ore. This is a really deep pit. That's why I like the advanced miner so much. It's so much better for gathering. I have to be like three inches from it constantly. I can zap up to seven meters away. And seven meters, a lot of zappy room, to be honest. While I'm at this, so I want some crushed stone because I want to gather iron ore and crushed stone. Which you have to give me eventually, I'm zapping enough rock, I should be. Why do we need crushed stone? Well, the next blueprint that we've got listed up, lined up to make requires crushed stone. However, oh, before we go making that, running off and being likely slaughtered on the next planet and some enemy attack force comes up from nowhere and attacks my, sh my base I want to make certain that we are prepped by making ammunition for gun turrets oh wow we gotta be able to get some rock somewhere Come on, rock. Ah, uh, you have to remove a lot of rock because you get a little bit of crushed stone. That is very non ineffective. Non effective. Bad as iron. Let's see, how much ore do we have? 230, that's a good decent. Now, ore. 50 to 100. So 
we got a goodly amount of ore here. There's a nice copper ore deposit, which would be good. In fact, I think my construct I want to make does require ore, copper ore. Uh, I wonder if I should do movie reviews. I do sometimes wonder if I should expand my YouTubing career and switch to. I'll switch to, but include the odd movie review. A bit of an odd thing, but I, I wonder if I should do that, because then I could expand the general horizon and, you know treat you to my quite biased, quite strictly personal opinionization of something that someone else has spent the ages doing. They like game reviewing, but more cynical. This should be more than enough iron for what we want to do. But before we do any big build, it's always a good idea. It's always a good idea before you do a big build to stock up on some base resources. It's amazing how quickly you go through your iron. Uh, it's crushed stone I need to be worried about because that I have much. I only have 41 of. Actually, how much do I need for the blueprint? Because, no, that's not what we're making. That's what we're making. Iron's covered. Copper, I need more of. Silicon, I probably need more of. Not me, I need to make some concrete pots. But I need 2,000 stone. For stone. Frankly, every bit of crushed stone. Things are like. 5 to 1 ratio? Something like that. Every load of crushed stone, I think it's like 15 crushed stone to make one. Make the one object, but each one of those is like worth 20 or something. That's more like it. Yeah, no, I'm just drilling for no reason now. That's a plant. That's a lot of crushed stone. So I think I'm going to need to go mine that s copper deposit near the village. Don't fall in the hole I'm about to make. It would be embarrassing. I mean, let's face it, could you imagine like walking along like, hey, help me, hey, oh, hey, oh, and then also like, Wah! what happened? You fell in a hole. Was the hole signpost? Yeah. Did he watch the hole being dug? Yes. And he still fell in it. Well, to be fair, it was a big hole. Yes, but he still fell in the thing. Oh, wait, I'm not really close to cruel here, folks. I'm gonna backfill the hole afterwards to make sure they can't fall in it. I'm more than likely gonna be digging a very deep hole. So let's copper surface while we're right in the surface. Now, I once made the stupid mistake of trying to mine out a, s a node on the moon that turned out to be large. Holy, what a mistake of the maker. That thing was gigantic. It wasn't large, that was humongous. The amount of copper and the amount of iron in it was ridiculous. I'd done over a thousand and I hadn't even got close to halfway. The halfway mark. I 
But yes, we're mostly going to the planet Drill, or Dill, or whatever it's called. A little, little next door neighbor, because that planet has Samphium ore. And I want Samphium ore. Getting Samphium ore is the building block requirements to getting our first getting our first big capital capital ship. Capital ships are fun. They allow us to travel to much, much more distant planets. And I will admit, I have, apart from flying back and forth to a planet I already own, I've never actually done a warp jump in a capital ship. I've never gone to any planet further than what we already had. It would be a completely alien adventure for me. But that is the idea. That is why we are here. We are here to adventure. Actually, we're here to find out what the hell has happened to our ship, to our fleet, and why the hell was several hundred years after the fact. It won't surprise me if we brought play with us being humans. I mean, humanity itself is, can be very play like in nature, but still. It would not surprise me if we came to this planet and we unleashed some sort of weird di Terran disease on them. Something completely normal for Earth, but so strange here that they would have zero ability to fight it. Come on, there you go. But no, that actually would be a really good twist for the game. If it's actually our crash landing that caused some sort of great catastrophe for them. Hey. They're actually getting friendlier because we're just, you know, we're not in their territory. We're not blowing the crap out of them. Also, I better not get home and find that I've been like killing off attack bombers and whatnot because I've not been there again. So it's actually a very big planet, and the number of resources on it are actually very slim. Very hard to find certain resources. Why had to like go in and steal from Polaris? Why have you stolen all of our, our resources? Now one's mighty copper veins are now depleted. Well, I won't call it mighty copper vein to be honest, dear boy. I'd rather call it like a, my little speck of a vein. Yep, that is now completely barren. So let us do some uh, filling. Well, not a very quick process, but still. For these guys, it'll be like magic. I mean, like, seriously, this will be like magic to them. I mean, a stranger from a strange world, a strange land, the sky people on the sky is magically filling the ground in. Not very well, mind you. I'm sure if you pot plants, someone will notice I've even been here. See, you'd never even tell I was here. Like a bunch of kid trouble. 
pull a biscuit back together again and try and claim he's never eaten. Didn't eat anything. I didn't eat anything. The um, uh, biscuits always look like this. You mean half eaten? Yes. With large bite marks in it. Yes. Me thinks uh, you are telling porkies. And hole sealed. Yeah, see? Good as new. Lumpy, but good as new. No one will ever notice there's a cavern under there. And that there were once bountiful couple of resources now go poof. Oops, radiation fog. Well, that has done me a world of good. That has um, netted me quite a lot of copper and a hell of a lot of iron. And a lot of crushed rock. So it might be an idea to um, uh, do the crushed rock first. I do hope the stream is working. Annoyingly, I haven't found any other blinking deposits. The silicon's a bite, right? Get to find. Technically, I could refining, be refining things on the way home. That was a test fire that makes sure my actual bullets were working. I had guns. Hopefully in line with this thing, I should be able to come down and nope, off by a mile and a half, off by a country mile. Oh, that's parked. Prefab oxygen will be removed. Yeah. Really? Crush stone. So. Uh. The warp tank is full. That fuel needs me to tucking up. That did practically nothing, but who cares? Watch out! Drones are coming to attack your base! Yes, they do that a lot these days. I've, I've, I've noticed there's some strange obsession with drones have with attacking my base. I mean, you'd think they'd learn. Was that like an actual truck ton of silicon? It was. Wow. Was I, was I refining that? Here's the other problem. I often forget what I was actually doing. I'm just going to do as many of these as I can. Because it's 5 stone each, so 10 stones should be 50. On the plus side, however, I get 200 now, maybe. I'm pretty sure I can have that much. Even if I can't, it's fine by me because I keep, you know, it just make, gives me time for stuff to work. Yeah, I'm sleeping indoors. Bag of this. Alright, bag of this. I'm sleeping indoors because it's still radiation or fog, but you know, it's better than it was before. 
these bad boys will turn around and they'll swipe any drones that come from this direction. And then you got the towers. They'll take anyone that comes from behind. And sometimes it takes a while for the drones to get here. A really nice feat, silly as it might be, a really nice feature would be if the uh, turrets actually follow the progression of the ship as lands. See, that's the problem. I haven't got anywhere near enough stone dust. That's only a thousand stone, just over a thousand stone dust. I need more. More. I'm like a, a grand shot. I think a rock I can smash. I think there's some big rocks there I can smash. Ah oh, well, let's go check the fridge. Ah, today's breakfast. A hamburger. There's some stones in there, but I don't want to take things out there. I was going to go smash that, but that's not rock. It looks like rock, but it's not rock. Have I put all my projectile bullets away? My little shotgun is pretty good at killing things. Uh, I need to find a rock. Si sí, senor, I need a rock. Confetima scrapings. This is going to be copper. Ground drill, flying rock drill. It would be nice if you give me uh, some stone to go with the rock. Copper, but yeah. Suppose can't be too choosy. Yeah, the rock. Two rocks. Two rock? No, two rocks. Some of the things different games. I do not know if the stream is working or not. a big rock. I should get like a thousand cloth out of this. Okay, one. Thirty three. Sixty four. Five from you. Five for seven for you. That's a tree. Yeah, that's a tree. That's a tree. That's a rock. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a bit paranoid now. Is the stream actually working? Or am I merely talking to myself? And that looks like a rock. It's not a tree, but it looks like a rock. Very angular. Oh, a rock over there, though. I should actually keep my own like, animals filled out for my own holes. And see, if I actually equip a rock drill to um, the hover vehicle, I could actually siphon up rocks. I 
you think I'd be scared, you know, being all the way out here, away from my base. Yeah, DC-2 shotguns. Mammothly powerful. I mean, they are ridiculously powerful. The number of times I've died in heavy armor from being shot by a shotgunner at close range is ridiculous. In fact, I have a let's entire video of me doing that. It was unintentional. See, that's 180. That's two lots. Uh, 200 with four lots. Well, you can find everything else you want, but you never find what you want. Find everything you don't need, but you find never find what you need. Now you can find everything else except the one items you need. What I need are boulders. Preferably large boulders. With lots and lots and lots of health. What I can't find are boulders. Preferably large boulders with lots and lots of health. Let's see little boulders. It's fine by me, because it... Well, every... Point I get is a point I get. There's a bit more material. I'll go home and shred this lot. Oh, maybe the um, attack wave came. It's not gonna be boulders, but they could have come. I don't know, dropped off 20,000 and something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, jump back on. Weep. Bring. 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 Boom. 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 Which is, um... Fun. Oddly, I think. I don't know, I don't do water. No, no not really my thing. Some vegetables. A lark. The lark. Yep, they've come all out. Ah, oh, I think they've left poof though. We missed them. Oh well. I have some little copper. A whole buttload of iron. I should say stone. Oh, where is my stone, Dusty? Still on this thing anyway, push stone anyway. Two hundred there, magnesium two hundred and twenty. Well that's not bad. One, two, three, four. That might actually just give us the two two K we need. I'd like a bit more though. 
Now my ears stop itching. Yeah. In fact, that's either a really tall rock or a spire. If that's a rock, I bet I could get thousands of ore out of that. I can get quite a lot of ore out of that if, as a rock. That's why I'm not bothered about them saying to claim, oh, base is under attack. An attack wave has come for your base. Well, you can come to my base. The problem with them doing that is the fact that my base is very heavily defended. Not by some standards, but by our standards, the game standards, that is a heavily defended base. That is a rock. Oh, that is gonna be a rock. Guns on. No, that turned off right now. I have some guns. That is a rock. Yeah, that's a lot of rock. It's gonna take a while to drill it. But I should be walking away with an absolute. ton of crushed stone out of this. And uh, in the distance you see the great monolith rock. It has stood for a thousand for thousands of years. It's ancient, a holy rock it is. Ah uh, my and I suppose uh, you told us you are your ancestors. Your descendants will talk of this great rock and how it's gone. Where is the holy rock gone? Lovely. Three hundred and thirty-five each. It's a goodly number of rock dust. Um. And anyone tell me where the holy rock went? It was there a minute ago. Hey guys, I got some rock dust. I just had crushed some giant boulder over there up. Uh, the sacred rock dust stood for a thousand years. Is that a bad thing? Edward? Yes, sir? Consider your shore lead council. Yes, sir. Maybe they don't recharge the fuel cells from them. From the main store. What, sir? Hey, ho. Yeah, now 200 rock. You can give me, thankfully, another 20. Well, this definitely will push us well over what we need for the crushed rock. Great. Great. Now, I need concrete growing plots, apparently. Meant to plant five of these little ones. Yep, two. Enough of that. Uh, blueprint. See, crushed grown plots. I need some copper. Cooked up. I have got plenty of silicon. I thought I had less, but can't. Oh yes, I've gone entirely. I went to the moon and I salvaged an absolute ton of silicon. I thought I did that entirely. And that. One, two, three, four, just in case. Uh, silicon, I don't need half that much. Ooh, wow, I hope. All right. Oh, I cooked the copper off. <laughs> I thought for a minute, then I thought, oh, wow, Christ, is that all we got? Where's my loot? How far out have you crashed? Crash maximum distance, didn't you? Is 
there anything I can find on the water? Nope, I can't find a damn thing on the water. I get attacked on the water, it's not fair. What is a damn ship? Anyway. Well, you must have made them me. Yeah, let's stay up here. Well, on both sides, they're not evil. The game designers aren't evil enough to make um, uh, the enemy able to attack you on the water. I think so, following me. Just me or is that bug following me? Oh, there's silicon rock here. Oh, that was just pushed down. You for the helmet. Unfortunately, that doesn't really, doesn't really stock your um, uh, O2. You know, if that thing crumbles, crumbles out of the land and the water to attack me, it's just going to die instantly. With an absolute... There's a big-ass gun pointing at the water. Just in case. Oh yeah, I forgot entirely to dump this off in the uh, fridge. Natural sweeteners. Vegetables. Uh... Medicine, 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 precious, well, food. Dumping things in there. Ah, uh, God, I already can use that much food up. I will starve to death at this rate, you know. If I weren't for the fact, weren't for my uh, plethora of food inside. I mean, really, the amount of food I have actually inside the base is ridiculous. Salami. I need more salami. I need more spices. Sandwiches are nice. But uh, they actually have a slightly longer preservation time than the meat these guys, but they don't do half as much stuff. And the in. Ah, oh, it's off. By six. Boom hole. You know what? There's a load of this to say in case I'm gonna build no more bases in the future. I don't know. I don't need 200. Actually, that no, won't be a bad thing because my next project build will most likely need 400, 300 of that in. So when I get in, need anything that needs silicon or copper, is has excess. Anything that's used over. Anything over the amount requested is stored and immediately used upon the next thing's creation. Let's see, I want another 10 copper cooked. That brings me down to 65. Down to 15s. 
Oh, no, not one of, one of those, that's a silly. One of those. Right, uh, carbon su substrate is probably going to be needed for another build at some point. Ow, I've got 72 power cells. Concrete growing pot, one. Hello? Oh, nutrient solutions. Nah, I need to have a large control for that. Uh, cargo box, fridge. I'm going to yours and build a nutrient solution. Put into cargo box A, please. I actually had a nutrient solution available, but who cares? Yeah, that's one of the fun things is that I can just swap the um, where it's set sent to and it automatically dumps it into the right box. So if, for example, I wanted to dump it out of this box, I could technically pop it somewhere else. That should be fun. Yeah, just do that, back to there, straight there, into there, and dump. 47 minutes. Excellent. Watch, we're nowhere near night time, I was at sleep. Well, three hours till night. Uh, actually, while I'm in the p doing this, that thing might have guns. So while I'm that's cooking, see, I don't know what I have with these things because I can't make. I'm gonna make a rocket project, rocket turrets actually. Uh, flax shells are fantastic. They come in counter twenty. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna cost me one hundred and twenty in my uh, magnesium. But a rocket turret, a singular rocket turret, is fantastic. It has more range than the big cannon than the cannon, and it knocks them out of the sky much, much faster. It does 500 dam damage on explosion to three units around it. Uh, let's see, the cannon uses the 30 mil bullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use 30 mil bullets for my cannon, so. Well, I'm probably going to have to pause the stream shortly. A couple of minutes while I sort something out. Uh, see, that's about 20 steel plates, so that's actually 200 steel plates a shot. So that's 400 for 20. Six hundred for 800, wow, that's a lot. This game does not pause. I lose everything in my inventory when I don't. I need to go and do something. So I shall quit pause the stream for a moment, folks. I shall be right back. I just need to go and do so do something. There's no pause mode, which is a little annoying. 